morning. Welcome to 49ers and 5, your daily update on everything happening with the team that you need to know. I'm Rob Stats Guerrera. Today is Wednesday, November 22nd, 2023. Here's what's happening with your San Francisco 49ers. We'll get to Brock Purdy, Kyle Shanahan, and Steve Wilkes press conferences in a second. But first, we begin, as we always do, with the injury report. Spencer Burford did not participate in practice on Tuesday. He's got a knee injury. Kyle Shanahan said it's not a long-term thing, and if the game was on Sunday, he may have been able to suit up, but it's looking a little dicey for Thursday night. Four players were limited on Tuesday. Aaron Banks with turf toe. Shamar Jean Charles has a shoulder injury. Ray Ray McLeod is dealing with a rib, and Javon Hargrave is dealing with a thumb. Again, all four of those were limited. Now, let's get to Brock Purdy. Brock, you faced Seattle three times now. Does that make your preparation for this week a little bit easier? I mean, I don't think so. Um, obviously, it's a new year. Um, the situation of this game is a little different. Uh, the personnel is a little different. Um, they had they have guys that we haven't faced, so there's all that in the in the in the, in the play. So um, I think it's different for sure, and so that's how I'm looking at it, and I think that's really the reality of it, um, and so. They're, they're a good team. So, you know, we're not going in thinking, oh, we beat these guys however many times before. It, it isn't like that. You know, this is a new game, new team. And that's how we're looking at it. With the way Brock has played the last two weeks, honestly, I feel like we're getting to the point where teams have to prepare to stop him and not the other way around. Now, speaking of preparation, Steve Wilkes actually said playing Tampa Bay last week was pretty fortunate because it makes the preparation for the Seahawks a little bit easier. Short week. Um, it's all about uh, fundamentals and technique. You know, the great thing about uh, playing Tampa last week, um, you know, is a lot of carryover to Seattle with the coordinator being uh, from Seattle. So a lot of things that we're doing this week is uh, carryover for us. And my point of emphasis to the players has been, you know, fundamentals and technique and short week, taking care of your body, making sure we're fresh and ready to go. This will be a nice little test for this new look Steve Wilkes defense. You're playing a good team who's very familiar with your personnel. Let's see if the Niners D looks as good as it has the last two weeks when they're up in Seattle on Thursday night. We always give you one thing to read, one thing to watch, and one thing you might have missed, one thing to read on this Wednesday. Christian McCaffrey apparently has a love of both football and classical music. He made a really cool comparison between the two. NBC Sports Bay Area has the quotes if you want to read it. Just click the link in the description of this episode. One thing to watch, guys playing out of position. They're thin along the offensive line, as you heard at the top of the show. Obviously, safety is a little bit thinner with the loss of Talanoa Hufongo. So, Kyle Shanahan, could we see some guys playing out of position against the Seahawks? Someone's got to go there. Uh, you know, so when you lose certain guys, you got to always have that plan, just like at O-line when you lose a certain amount of guys, just like a quarterback when you lose a certain amount. So, um, you know, there's no third strings on NFL field. It's ones and some guys have twos, but, um, you know, all those twos are also playing special teams. So that's the whole um, challenge as this year goes. Well, that wasn't exactly reassuring, was it? Oh, by the way, the Niners did try and add to the offensive line, signing guard Ben Barch. He has experience at both the left and right sides. One thing you may have missed, the Rolling Stones are coming to Levi Stadium this summer. The group announced a new 16-city tour across the United States and Canada. They will be in Levi's July 17, 2024. That's a wrap on today's 49ers and 5. Please rate, review, and follow the Gold Standard Podcast Network. Like and subscribe to the YouTube page as well. If you haven't already done so, hit the little bell and you'll be notified every single time we go live, including later today, 9 a.m. Pacific time. I'll be with Grant Cohn. We'll dive into all things Niners Seahawks on Thanksgiving. I'm Rob Stats Guerrera. We'll talk later today.